The One Times Table Today you are going to identify the rule of the One Times Table. Activity 1 Use the array diagram that you made on day 2 to investigate the One Times Table. You will need two sheets of paper. Use the two sheets of paper to show 1 times 1 on the array diagram. Cover everything below the row with 1 and cover everything to the right of the column with 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Now you use the two sheets of paper to show 2 times 1. Do this now. You should cover everything below the row labelled 2 and cover everything to the right of the column labelled 1. Therefore, 2 times 1 is 2. Use your two sheets of paper to show 3 times 1. Do this now. Cover everything below the row labelled 3 and cover everything to the right of the column labelled 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. Let's do this one more time. Use your two sheets of paper to show 4 times 1. Do this now. Cover everything below the row labelled 4 and everything to the right of the column labelled 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Look at the answers to the 1 times table number sentences. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. And 4 times 1 is 4. What do you notice about the answers to the 1 times table number sentences? Can you see that the answer is the same as the number of groups. Activity 2. Let's complete the flow diagram together. 3 times 1 is 3. 5 times 1 is 5. 7 times 1 is 7. 8 times 1 is 8. And 9 times 1 is 9. When we multiply a number by 1, the number stays the same. Activity 3. Look at the number line and fill in the missing numbers. Think about how you get from one number to the next.
Can you see that you must add 50? Three hundred and fifty, four hundred, four hundred and fifty, five hundred, five hundred and fifty, six hundred, six hundred and fifty, seven hundred, seven hundred and fifty. See you next time.